Every autumn, herds of reindeer are driven down the Yamal Peninsula in Russia's Arctic north. The herders are members of the Nenets people, who have traditionally led nomadic lives. They cross the frozen Ob River, which is several kilometers wide at this point, at night, and with great caution. Climate change is making the ice thinner by the year. At night, when it's colder, there's less risk of it breaking. This group reaches the far shore at daybreak. They're accompanied by anthropologist Alexander Volkovitsky, who's been studying the life and customs of the Nenets people for many years. For those uh, nomadic families living in Tandra, the main problem is the condition of their herds, because they depend from their reindeer. And their future means a good condition of their head. That future is anything but secure. The Arctic has been warming at about twice the rate of the planet as a whole. For the Nenets herders, it's becoming more and more difficult to travel their traditional routes. Ice forms on the rivers ever later in the season, forcing the families and herds to wait. Lots of families have no way out. There is no possibility for them to move. It's a threatening situation for all the northern reindeer herding way of life, so to say. The reindeer need to keep moving. In any one spot, there's not much to eat, and they would quickly starve to death. So the herders need to move with them. Two and a half thousand kilometers to the east in Yakutsk, the capital of the Republic of Sakha, also known as Yakutia, Yegor Kirilin is on his way to the Institute for Biological Problems of the Cryolithosome. That's the region where permafrost prevails. He's a biologist and studies wild reindeer whose numbers are declining. The head of the institute, Inokenti Akhlopkov, is worried. In the Krasnoyarsk region, there used to be more than a million reindeer. At the latest count, there were just three or four hundred thousand. That's led us to pay special attention to the problem. We want to know what's happening to our reindeer populations. The two biologists say climate change, but also human interventions, are behind the steep decline in numbers. One growing problem is competition between wild reindeer and herded reindeer. Kirillin is on an expedition on the Olenyok River, which cuts through one of the main routes of migrating wild reindeer. In order to find out more about their migration patterns, he wants to attach transmitter collars to as many specimens as he can catch. The devices have been adapted to the conditions here in Yakutia. They're waterproof and they can withstand temperatures of minus 40 to minus 50 degrees Celsius. The team have to be patient. They're watching out for any reindeer swimming across the river. When they spot one, they have to act fast. This young male probably weighs more than 130 kilograms. The procedure can be dangerous for the men and is probably a bit of a shock for the reindeer. The transmitter is designed to fall off once the battery is empty. 
They take the animal's portrait for the database and let him go. They've attached such devices to more than 40 wild reindeer so far. The data have already revealed that migration patterns are changing. The reindeer head north to cooler summer pastures earlier in the season every year. And in the winter, they head deeper into the more southerly forests to find enough to eat. And that's where the competition with domesticated ones is growing. Wild reindeer have always been seen as rivals of domesticated herds. It's impossible to breed them where there are lots of wild ones. Where there are both populations, herding is hard. Domesticated reindeer often run away and join the wild ones, and they compete for grazing. Food is becoming scarcer, even in the vast and undeveloped far north of Russia. Based on data from the tracking devices, strategies could be developed to mitigate competition among the diverse populations, to benefit all of them. But the changing climatic conditions are also a challenge, in particular the rising temperatures. The herder families and their reindeer continue their trek south to their winter quarters in the forests. They still have a long way to go. As conditions change, the risks they face are changing too, and the pressure to adapt is mounting. The very future of their way of life is at stake. <laughs>